Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. In this chapter, we will review the transactions that you will need to use in order to correctly account for funds held within a client's trust account within most, if not all, states. You should always be aware of the reporting requirements within your state and adhere to the regulations given. While you will have all of the required transactions and accounting information stored within the legal company file in QuickBooks, it is important to remember that you must also keep paper copies of all records related to your client trust account, including bank-created records. Be sure to keep paper copies of all of this information. The first transaction that we will cover is making a deposit of client funds into the client's trust account. You should review the lesson on making deposits in Chapter 10 of the Introductory QuickBooks Manual if you need to review the process. Start by selecting Banking and then choosing the Make Deposits command from the menu bar within QuickBooks. Within the Make Deposits window, you will then select the Client Trust Checking from the Deposit To field at the top of the window. Then select the date of the deposit from the Date Calendar Selector. In the Memo field, you should enter the client's name, the matter or case, and any other relevant identifying information. Then select the name of the client and matter from the drop-down that appears when you click into the first empty row underneath the Received From column. Then select the Client Trust Liabilities account from the adjacent From Account Columns drop-down menu. You can then re-enter the memo information into the Memo column. You can then enter the Payment Method into the Payment Method column and enter the Check Number into the Check Number field if required. You can then use the Class drop-down to classify the partner who manages the trust account and handles the client from the Class drop-down. You then enter the amount of the deposit into the Amount field. Once you have finished recording the necessary information, click the Save and Close button to record the client's deposit. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.